Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Today is November 7th. Call to order at 6.30. First item of business is October 31st Halloween minutes. Do I have a motion? I have a motion. We approve the minutes from October 31st. We have Seconded. a motion and a second. Any discussion? Uh, here, no further discussion. All those in favor of approval of the minutes as presented for October 31st, please signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, 3-0. New business, Gracious Greens update. Uh, they have asked to postpone. Correct. Uh, ARPA request. Yes. Um, I believe one of the co-chairs of the Village Center Committee was going to come talk about that. I can talk about what I think they were going to talk about, or we can come back to it, unless those okay. footsteps are... Oh. Okay. FY24 budget memo update, then. Okay, so um, we talked about requesting two things from departments and boards and committees, um, in addition to a level services budget. Um, a budget that included the top priorities for expanded service. So I added um, another paragraph to the budget memo, basically saying, in addition to a level services budget, please fill out this other form that looks identical, but include your top one to three priorities, how much they would cost, and an explanation of um, what those expanded services would look like. Good. Um, the, any questions? Review the, uh, Riverside Park donation policy. So there, um, there was a donation policy for gifts when it was being redone the first time. Um, and there was specific policy memo that I drafted related to the anonymous donation of $5,000 for the um, pathways and specifically it says labor and materials necessary for the maintenance of the unpaved river walk and labor and materials necessary for the maintenance of the paved walkways would be the, the two ways to spend um, that gift. Okay, any questions? Nope. nope. So where are you gonna keep this now? The pop, where is it, where is it gonna be kept? So um, it would be a memo that we could keep in our guidelines and procedures uh, folders and would be given to the treasurer collector and the accountant as well to keep in their files related to, to that account. Okay. Um, wait. You uh, so it, it had been already adopted August twentieth, right? Um, wait. Oh, twenty eighth. The Riverside Park donation policy. Yes, but I thought you asked for yeah. a specific right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The overall policy. Yes. Correct. Correct. And you're just putting this into it. Right. So we're gonna need. We'll put it with it in the policy, but you're going to want a, uh, the uh, amended. So add this to that policy. Yep. Okay. So that way we can keep abreast of our changes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Any question? You want to vote on that? Um, I think I'd prefer to bring it back to you in the full policy and then have uh, updated, voted on, um, and okay. sorry, just to go back for a second, you're, you're good with the budget memo going out? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Select board updates. I got nothing. Me neither. All set, Nathaniel? Yep, I'm good. So, so a couple things. Last week we had talked. We had had uh, 
tentatively authorized the board to send the town of Deerfield a message concerning the application for their support for the application and grant. Correct? Yep. Do you want to fill everybody in on that, Jeff? Yep, so um, that was contingent on the Board of Oversight agreeing to support the grant application. The select board is meeting tomorrow night um, to also consider sending a letter of support the application. I believe Deerfield Select Board is meeting tomorrow night um, to also consider sending a letter of support. But for the comments, um, Deerfield um, so right next to the previous senior center in Deerfield, two things. one would be a feasibility study uh, for the congregational church um, right next to the previous senior center in Deerfield, um, whether or not that space can be retrofitted and used as a senior center um, and meet the needs of the region seniors. And the second would be to do a long range senior services plan for the region. Yeah, and, 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 and so, so, so basically, our, our discussion to Joyce from Waitley was concerned that this, by agreeing to this, the Board of Oversight was agreeing that the, the towns should just arbitrarily go ahead and that'll be our final site and, and we made the decision. But we haven't made a decision Basically, the study is about that one site in particular, correct? Yeah. And and so the, the, and, and, and her and her points are valid. Um, she she just wants to make sure that if if you know before we just go you know head first into that site, we want to make sure that that's the best site. So we need to look at you know do the full ascertainment and, and and look at what's available where their best location is etc and that that was a major drawback on that or her meeting director brought up some staffing changes that, that she was recommending that we implement one at the um meeting director brought up some staffing changes that, that she was recommending that we implement one was that we would make one our outreach coordinator a full-time position right mm -hmm. and then she wanted to add uh, administration administrative help to her position also um, and she wanted to do this with some we they, they just got notification on some of the grants and we got we got from our federal and state grants, we, we, and we had some pretty sizable increases in our grants. Unfortunately, this only happens every, what, 10 years when the census is done. So what, what we have this year for, from 2020, um, it won't be, because we got, believe it or not, we got more older people now than we did 10 years ago. Kind of hard to believe. Yeah. Right? All right. That clock that, that clock doesn't <laughs> stop ticking for nobody. Anyway, so so basically what what the director had proposed was these new positions. I think the board of oversight was pretty unanimous in that when you make a proposal like that, it's better to be done at the during a normal process for. Um, budget the annual budget and also that we would prefer that if some if a change is considered that there there's a lot of documentation that needs to be presented to support that and and it's fine that some an individual may know all that but typically we want to see it on paper so that we can look at it how many hours a week now does the outreach coordinator work about 15 hours a week I think. 15 and they want to increase that to 40 uh yeah that's 37 and a half I think. 37 and a half and then the administrative support how many hours a week are they looking they, for they really didn't say but again right now and and, and again it's 
it was hard it was hard because last year we had a very significant remember we had a significant increase and we had taken all of the salaries off from grants because it was we it was felt that you can't guarantee from one year to the next that grants would be able would be coming through and so we just got cl done clearing all that off from grant funding to six months later to put it back on grant funding it'd be kind of hard so so right now we're going to we we uh, wanted some more information anything else on that no I think so. okay also last week earlier last week we had an opportunity to go over to the um, Sanderson's place which is a new senior housing in town that the residents of uh, Sunderland supported through the purchase of the property through the CPA monies. Uh, and also we support by an additional $100,000 that we put up that uh, went to the developers of the property as well. Um, so we had an opportunity to go through a tour and it just so happens that um, it's on the cover of the Western Mass IAI, um, and it, it's a three, three, well, it's actually a four page article about, and it's entitled Anatomy of, a, of an Affordable Housing Development, Sanderson Place, 120 North Main Street, Sundown. And it's too bad that everybody couldn't have an opportunity to look at it because it, it is spectacular, and, and the views are amazing um, so we were told the other night we were told that people are gonna start moving in December 1st Has that changed I not that I'm aware of so um, and, and in here there, there's Warren Starr who was the chair of the thing and and just, I'd like to add what, to read a few things. As she says, as I look back on this after eight years, eight plus years of process, she offers the following insights. Navigating the complexities of a municipal project like this can be daunting. Um, that's a good term. I could probably strengthen that term. Uh, daunting is probably a good word, but one of the best pieces of advice that Lauren would have is just what's, what, one which she would say is do the next thing you got to keep putting your one foot after the other to make a project like that work have a great committee and that doesn't mean just enthusiasts healthy skepticism on your committee result in a better project we had a great expertise in construction design real estate town administration and most critically th three abutters affordable housing is not inexpensive it is dependent on a delicate balance of financing, incentives, and subsidies, and be lucky enough to get a great great team. Austin Design, RDI, Valley Develop Development, and the Franklin County Housing Authority were gracious partners who included the town's 120 North Main Street committee throughout the design, permitting, and construction. And finally, Warren states, have patience, you'll need it. So th those those are some of the points, um, and it really started ten years ago, and and again I just sh there were a lot of things that had to come together. Um, to, you know, the town the town had to have um, the town meeting people that came to town meeting had to have the foresight to to be able to look ten years down the road. That's how long it took us to get from point A to point B. Um, we we had concerns with the butters, um, and the butters used the uh, methods and that were available to them to make it acceptable to them. Um, we had a butters that were concerned about it going in originally um, but instead of just running away from it 
they rolled up their sleeves and be, be, become integral partners with it to put make it the best project that it could. And as a personal note, I just wish state and federal government could operate like the town of Sunderland because I think we do a hell of a lot better job. Um, and, and, and we, Lauren talks in her thing about skepticism. Um, and if you look at the best things that we have, they come about uh, South County EMS. Um, that was what 10 years of discussions that we had about that and some some people that were on diametrically opposite positions are best of friends today because they they both knew that it was or the group knew it was best to move forward so it's okay to have a healthy discussion i would totally agree with that um and and now when you look over at the senior, the senior housing and look at that and when you when you walk through it to see what has been able to be done it's simply amazing it, it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and peep some we're talking about it you know about the, the apartments apartments are pretty good size when you when you actually see them it'll be tough so, somebody's mother may have trouble filling all the spaces so, no. what do you think no I'm not gonna comment right now <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was it was it was a very good. And if you have a chance, maybe Jeff can get some of this put on our website so uh, people can have an opportunity to read about what happened. It's a good, and it takes precedence over the UMass brutalism article. So I think that's pretty good, also. Anyway, so um, any other updates from the board? All right, so let's go back to uh, ARPA request. Okay. Um, so, uh, Jessica and I are here from the Building uh, Center Committee, and we sent you guys a letter um, with uh, ARPA request for two projects. So, just to kind of back up for the folks back home, um, we were appointed back in 2019 um, specifically to conduct a Village Center visioning process um, with the goal of uh, looking at the character and amenities of the Village Center, the pedestrian access and safety, bicycle access and safety, vehicular access and safety, and you know potential zoning issues and things that we as a town could do to enhance the Village Center. Um, the other thing that we've been, I think, focused on from the beginning is there have been so many projects, which you know, I think we wish we could take credit for, but we can't. But that we really try to keep an eye on, um, so that they, you know, so that when we're looking at the village center, when we're looking at street improvements, like that we did on North Main, and the sidewalk project and the sidewalk extension on 116, and that you know we're at least trying to replicate for a small study that really wasn't targeted for exactly what we wanted to do, but kind of got us thinking. But I, I would say the pandemic was a big, bit of a setback for us. Um, nevertheless, I'm really focusing on covenants in our town, kind of, again, not by our doing, but, you know, by a good amount of, um, because you know, some really great place, but also some luck. Um, we have several new businesses um, of different kinds. We have the housing, um, the Matrilo Garden, the Adventure Eats, Commonwealth Springs, the Senior Center. Um, you know, things are really, more things are really happening in the center of town. And I think with some of the improvements to the light, um, pedestrians at the senior center, um, you know, things are really, more things are really happening in the center of town. And I think with some of the improvements to the light, um, pedestrians at least are feeling a little bit better. Um, so the first ask is, um, we would like to do this visioning exercise that we were really appointed to do, which would really in involve hiring a consultant, um, particularly a consultant that has, I think, um, strengths both in um, planning and landscape, um, but also in traffic and in transportation, so that if we uh, are looking at alternatives, because I think you know the big issue that you might not be a fear of. And so that's a request for 
$50,000. Whether we need that full amount or not, I think, you know, is um, something we would explore. And, uh, and so that's a request for uh, $50,000. Whether we need that full amount or not, I think, you know, is um, something we would explore. And uh, people I would like to work, uh, I think I could lean on a little to help us with an RFP for the consultant so that we get really the right scope of work. Um, but, you know, pun intended, you know, we're kind of at a crossroads. And, um, you know, we'd like to be able to move this forward. Um, and we kind of, we need, we need some funding to do it. And I think it's, it's sort of an investment because um, we talk to each, we figure out what we as a, as a town, what, what precedent can we take on? You know, what kind of structure um, we talk to to um, help direct how the town develops, um, then there may be grant sources for some of those projects, but I think we have to really start with the visioning. Um, and the second thing is um, school streets, which, you know, we had looked at the design as partly through, um, we really need to take it um, to the point uh, where we can apply for significant, uh, we want to get it to 25% to 25% design so that we basically have a shovel ready project. And again, I think um, there's a certain amount of optimism that we could get the improvements on school street funded, but we have to do the work up front in order to qualify for the grants that are out there. And we believe that's about $75,000 to get us there. So those, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, sums up perfectly. Necessary one, um, you know, it just kind of connects sidewalks, straightens it out, especially with the senior center and things like that. Now being here, it'd be nice to have sidewalking and stuff going all the way down to the bridge. So, so, so Lauren, on on the on the um, school street, if I remember right, didn't they have like two or three? Didn't didn't we have two or three conceptual thoughts? About So we had gone, we had gone through. The project itself will be. No idea. So we had gone, we had gone through. We had gone through um, even the public, we had public comment also, right? Yeah. So, so we, you know what kind, you know what plan we're going to move forward with? Bring that back so that we'd have kind of like a. Yeah, so, so that we can really make sure that that the, the plan that we wanted would, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I know we had gone pretty far with that. We, we, we had probably had taken it basically all the way to its end, yeah. and we were ready for the next step. And you want to start at that next step. And 50,000 takes to the. 55 75 at the school street portion. Oh, I, was, I said 50, huh? You did. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know if it was an accident. To the. 75 at the school street portion. Oh, I, was, I said 50, huh? You did. Ah, okay. I didn't know if it was an accident and you meant me not to catch you on that or what? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, did, did we ever have any, did we ever have any numbers from the last time? I, see, I don't remember specifically. Did we have numbers at what it potentially could cost? For the plan or the actual work? The actual work. Uh, remember? Pre-inflation, I think it was like a million and a half. So a million. of the sidewalk, um, changing the orientation of the parking along the street, replacing the uh, storm drain under the street, and then burying the overhead wires that go across the street under. Can we also talk to Verizon about moving the box away from the Veterans Memorial? I agree, so, um, eventually. Or have the electrical company do that for us. If we have a rotator tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
Or sometimes finding water mains where you need the hole. I mean, just talking 25%. Twenty-five percent, but you know, you can't have to do that would be the minimum. Yeah. Twenty-five would be the minimum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you want to open it? Wait to see what happens which we think is not, you know, too quite open some more so that we can then have a informed, I think, discussion both with the colleague on that and your team about really how the town sees the center of town. Okay. So Jeff, the um you said that the center of or maybe I'm Remembering incorrectly, the center town is not on your five year plan. It's not on the, no. Yeah. So change. Oh, no, I understand that. Okay. That's subject change. All right. So your second part. Yeah. So change. Oh, no, I understand that. That's okay. subject change. All right. So your second part is. You know, I'm talk, are we all set with School Street? I'm all set with School Street. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So the next part is. The center. How much looking for that? Well, we're asking for fifty. I think again, uh, it's not to you know spend wisely. So I think our my first our first step would be to really work on an RFP and figure out what is a fair amount of uh, fee for that kind of study. Our my first our first step would be to really work on an RFP and figure out what is a fair amount of uh, fee for that kind of study. But again, I think we really need. Um, either a team or a firm that has a good range of experience, including very credible uh, transportation and uh, traffic planning. A firm that has a good range of experience, including very credible uh, transportation and uh, traffic planning. So when when you write up the when you write it up, how are you write? Are you looking up? Are you looking for? Traffic. So when when you write up the when you write it up, how are you write? Are you looking up? Are you looking for what kind of what kind of purse group are you looking for? Are you looking for a a civil to talk about construction of road? Or are you I looking for? Yeah, it, I, I I think the first thing I would do is to see if I can if we can go back to the central register and look for similar you know similar uh, projects. I'll also talk to. Um, some of the other, maybe slightly larger cities and towns around us that have done some of these things to see how they've done it. Um, but I think it could be a team. It, could, it may not be one firm. I, I was going to say, I think, I, I, I don't know. And, and so, and, and I'll just put this out here. The, I, I took a walk along the river walk two weeks ago. I'm going to say, and as an observation, well, during this particular walk, there was a young couple on it that was, you know, husband, wife with a new, new child, and they, on, and I, we were talking about where they lived, and they said, well, we just, we just bought our first house. And well, congratulations. He says, well, it's good, but also bad. It's bad because we have to move out of Sunderland. Yeah. And I go, wow, that's different. And I said, and they, they then continue to say that about they live near the downtown right now and everything that's going on, it's for them, it was a very happening location. They were, there's a, things are, things are happening. And they were excited about the things that were happening. And sometimes we live here for so long that we miss that. And so that's a good thing. Um, so so um, we, should, we should keep going forward. That being said, I think, Lauren, Jessica, we have to try to solve the problem of a village center at an intersection of two highways is difficult. I don't know what the right answer is. And I don't even know who to start to talk to. Do, are you talking to the planners? Are you talking to planners? Are you talking to civil people? I mean, what what options? You know, what options are? You know, who to start to talk to? Do, are you talking to planners? Are you talking to planners? Are you talking to civil people? I mean, what what options? You know, what options are there? So Northampton did something again. I think it was the pack room was. So I would say it was before COVID. They were looking at. Um, some of the uh, some of the 
downtown Northampton, which also has some major streets when you think about it. I mean, it's obviously a city, you know, small city and, and not exactly what we have. And they had quite a they had quite a team in there and they looked like they were addressing a lot of different issues. Um, that was pretty interesting. It had some landscape features. Again, another town center that really does have the, the traffic slows there, but it's you know, we're not going to um, so I mean I think that we I think we can figure it out. I'm not I'm not worried about the, the traffic slows there, but it's you know, we're not going to Um so I mean I think that we I think we can figure it out. I'm not I'm not worried. I don't really know the answer right now. I think that we'll have some work to do just putting together the RMP and figure out what we're looking for and then we'll see what we get in response. Do, do I think do, the only thing I will say is that why why I would favor the town spending money mm -hmm. is because if you if you wait for a state, federal, county, whatever monies to come available, a lot of times they come with a lot of strings attached, and you end up with someone or or, or a firm that is more interested in doing the work than than actually trying to solve a problem. Well, I think that's what happened with the rapid recovery plan where we got some interesting ideas out of it. The state had really, um, you know, could, um, de determined what the parameters were for that grant. And, um, you know, they would only go so far. So we couldn't really say, oh, we like this idea. Let's take that further. That, that just wasn't even an option. So I think you're right. I mean, I think that if we, if we fund it and we issue the RFP and we create the parameters for the project are, then we'll get, you know, hopefully something that's useful, to, you know. It's the best shot of getting something that we can really use. I think there's a greater chance of getting something useful if we pay for it. Yeah. Right now. Um, personally. I but I, I don't like I said I would I have a hard ha hard time understanding who who would you ask so so going to the central registry and looking at a, is a good idea but maybe we have to expand it we we have to expand it out because i, I kind of think we're you know when when you travel around there's not too many centers kind of shaped like we are and and people will tell you it's not really a a, a new england center um so it's different. So, okay. Is that wind? Hmm? Is that wind? Yeah. Wow. It's loose windows. So did you, did you come up with a number? Yeah, that one's 50. That one's 50? Yes. That one's 50. Yes. I was going to say 25. But. Oh, see. <laughs> okay. I guess I won't speak up. Oh, All 50. right, so... Anything else you'd like to add on that, Lauren? Jessica? All right. So, Jeff, can can you put that on our, our next uh, agenda? Yep. So we can we can uh, have time to think about it? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And and, and think about what, what you'd kind of... And, and Jeff, maybe if you could bring back the, at that meeting, if you could bring back the plans for the uh, school street. I don't know if you've ever, have you ever seen the plans for school street? Yeah, just sent them to me. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, Lauren? Thank Jessica? You. Thank you. Thank you. It's, 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 I think it's worthwhile. I think it's worthwhile plan. I, I, and I think, I, I think that this, was easy compared to the next one, Lauren. So let's see, the library, when you're all done, said and done, the library is gonna be the easy one. The library took 10 years, this took eight, so we've got six. <laughs> and we're gonna to try to take care of the, and we're gonna to try to take care of the Graves Memorial also, right? Yeah. Okay. That'll be the easy one. Yeah. All right. We'll be, we'll be back on that one. Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so Jeff, poll hearing. We want to do you, third time. Is that the charm? Yes. Yes. So it uh, is. The hearing was opened already. 
Sorry. So I think um, the next thing is either I or the clerk can read the notice that was published in the newspaper. Go ahead. Uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Town of Sunderland, poll hearing, notice for petition for joint or identical poll locations. On petition of NSTAR Electric Company, DBA, Eversource Energy, and Verizon New England Incorporated, the Sunderland Select Board will conduct a poll hearing on Monday, October 24th, 2022, 7 p.m. Remote participation with Zoom ID 612-78025, Zoom call-in 415-762-9988, on computer, https colon backslash backslash zoom dot us backslash j backslash 612780253. Eversource is requesting permission to locate a line of poles, wires, cables, and fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures to be owned and used in common by your petitioners along and across the following public way location. Eversource requests permission to install one jointly owned pole at 136 Russell Street to bring power for reason to bring power further into the property at 136 Russell Street. Also for permission to lay and maintain underground laterals, cables and wires in the above or intersecting public ways for the purpose of making connections with such poles and buildings as each of said petitioners may desire for distributing purposes. There is no existing pole being removed and this is not part of a larger capital project. Um, and I also have a letter from the highway superintendent um, with no concerns uh, with the placement of the bowl. Okay. All right. So, Eversource, yes. state your case. Ryan Ward from Eversource. Uh, I'm here to petition the bowl. We missed you the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I yeah, it's okay. Um, Don't let it happen again. <laughs> um, we'll cut off your electric service. Trying to get some power further on the property to these guys. Span pole in order to do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, height of utility poles, if you know. A 40 foot pole. Any tree work necessary? Uh, minor tree trimming on branches. There's a there's a larger tree there that we uh, we're not going to take down. I uh, placed the pole next to it, so we don't have to cut the, the bigger tree down. Um, so. Okay. Did we uh, notify the property butters? Yes. No concerns? Nope. They were sent uh, on October 12th. Okay. So is it going underground from that pole out to the? Nope. It's going to go across the street. Um, there's a total of five poles. Um, there's four that extend further on the property. My dead end on right now is a pole 34, but it can that one. We're going to replace and improve that pole also uh, as part of the project. So. No single phase? Is that single phase through there? It is. It's delta there. Uh, so there's two phases. 4,800 or? Uh, okay. And then we'll be for 13 uh, so that we will just move the wires down. Single phase through there? It is. It's delta there. Uh, so there's two phases. 4,800 or? Uh, okay. And then we'll be delayed for 13 uh, so that we will just move the wires down. Yeah. And we do convert that to a 13 eight area. Any guide wires? Uh, there'll be one guide wire that faces away from the property uh, to support the wire going across the street. Okay. And the type of construction? Just want to be pole number wires three, two? Uh, two, 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 two wires. wires. Pretty good for a board of selectmen, huh? Cross yeah. arm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> you have a pretty good experience on the board. I spent seven years climbing telephone poles, and Crystal's been doing this for ever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Jesse? Jeff, you have any questions? Nope. Okay. Um, you want to make any other presentations? I close it here, then I'll open it up for butters to comment if they have comments. Uh, I'm all set. Okay. So the public hearing portion is done now. The butters, any comments on your butters? They're the property owners. They're the ones who want it. <laughs> I thought they just didn't have anything else to do on Monday night, so they wanted yeah. to come to our meeting. Just come keep visiting us See? on Monday night. Look, she's happy. To, he, she took him out tonight. Come on. Well, I don't know. I mean, showing up to your own hearing to, yeah. to complain. We're going to go to the, the center of town. I heard, move there. We're going to the center of town. I heard it's the happening place. 
That's what they said, at least on the meeting. I heard that rumor myself. I know. Well, it's an award-winning TV show from FCAT, so FCAT, right, FCAT? See, he's not even paying attention to me. <laughs> that was your opportunity to make a big grand entrance to our meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, you have enough. You don't want to. You don't want to add anything, huh? I mean, it is Monday night without a lot to do. If you want to add something, go ahead. You know. We really think this is a, an, an economic development for the uh, center, for the town of Sunderland, right? I like chickens, yeah. so. Huh? I said, I like chickens, so. It'll be huge. All right. I'm good. All right. I'm ready to vote when you are. Anything else? I'm All good. right, so at this time, I'll entertain a motion to grant uh And no one on there is these. on a butter. Huh? No one on, I can't read the names it's on just Zoom. Peter and Cynthia. Okay, I, think we're good. I can't see that part. All right, just wanted to make sure one of them wasn't on a butter. That's all. They, they have to yell. Okay. So without any more discussion, I'll entertain a motion to grant the, uh, the, uh, the request by Eversource. All right, I motion that uh, we re we approve the request for a J.O. poll on Russell Road in the area of house number 136. Seconded. Okay, motion made and seconded. All those in favor of the uh, motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Congratulations. After a month, it's finally happened. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Sorry it took so long. And a motion to close the hearing. I make a motion we close the hearing for a, the J.O. poll at 136 Russell Street. Seconded. Motion made second to close the hearing. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeffrey. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, town administrator updates. Uh, just one thing this evening, uh, earlier this week, um, Senator Comerford's district director, Elena Cohen, uh, and I did a little tour of Sunderland and the projects we had going on. So I took her out to show her the kayak kiosk, um, showed her the restrooms that are the next project, uh, did walk the river walk, because she'd never done that, um, and the lookout, showed her the, the new sidewalk on the boat ramp, talked about the school street project and, and the straightening of the sidewalk and what would be involved in that. Um, looked at the outside of Sanderson Place, didn't go inside, uh, took her to North 116 Flats, uh, showed the, the new early education playground at the elementary school. Um, she had quite the tour. She did, she did, and, and she said, oh, Sunderland has a lot of apartments. <laughs> Yes, yes, Sunderland does, and you know I think showing uh, Sugarloaf and North One Sixteen Flats and Cliffside and the Social, um, I don't think that she realized that we had so many large apartment complexes, and I think that that helped clarify in her mind. And you know this is something that they haven't been able to do for two years, you know, so it's good to to go out and do that. And um, I think she was happy on the tour and seeing the the what's going on in the town, so. I, I, um, I think it's good whenever we can get people to town and, and hopefully to try to impress upon them that sometimes a particular law or, or decree by the governor or it, sometimes it can't be one size fit all and 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 40b and 40b was a prime example and and, and again it's it's in the north 116 flats we never really had an opportunity because of the way it was presented to to try to make it a better project and and that and 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 that is the the biggest fundamental problem with 40b as it says right now so 
And nobody and 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 but to to legislators back to Steve Steve Kulik and Stan Rosenberg, they 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 were try they they tried to make changes to um, 40B. As a matter of fact, it was voted on by the by the entire state about 40B, and it failed to change the law. So, um, but I think that's because if you if you if you read why what 40B is supposed to correct, it's a great, it, it's, it's supposed to stop communities from being able to stop affordable housing, right? In, 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 but it was really meant for, right, it was, when you look out to eastern part of the state where they had five acre zoning and, and, and they're building mansions, million dollar houses, we never really had that problem. We we've always had our, but I but I also think Massachusetts the way we develop is going to change. If you go down, you go down to Virginia, North you know North Carolina or, you know California, Las Las. You go to any Las Vegas, I mean they things are done differently. And and I will go back over to Button Ball, and Leon when Leon Markowski when we talked we talked about we talked about when we first. When 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 button ball first went in, it was a, a it was a a quite contentious development when it went up. But I would say now most people would say, you know, when you step back away 20, 20 years later, and that's it's really not a bad way to develop. I I don't you know personally. Well, I think it's nice. Right. So. But sometimes we have to get out of our, our. This is how it's always been zone. Right, and 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 again, and and I would and I would. You, if you look at this senior housing, this is done by Forty B, but it's known as a friendly Forty B because we we worked with we worked with the. Developer, the town worked together, and it's one heck of a project because we worked well, because we worked together, and that's how. And and again, we we were never really given the opportunity on the on the latest one. Anyway, okay. Anything else? No. Nope. So, are we going to have a meeting next week? Uh, I don't think we need to. I think okay. we can have the next meeting on the twenty first. You okay with that? Sounds good. Sounds good on me. So, so a couple, couple up, up, up coming up shortly. Friday is uh, Veterans Day, November 11th. So, 11th month, the 11th day, 11th hour, uh, World War One ended. Um, the town offices will be closed on Thursday, November 10th, because we're typically not open on Friday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. November 8th, which is Election Day, so from 7A to 8P at the Sunderland Public Library, there'll be voting, and I think, I don't have to say anything about that, I think it's our, if, if we want a viable democracy, we have to participate, we have to go out and, and take the 10 minutes to go vote. Understand there's four questions that are on the ballot that that can make a difference. You know everything from what they call the fair share, meant you know fair share to dental to anything in between. So I, I would recommend that you make time in your schedule from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow to go to the Sun Public Library and vote and and let people know that vote that democracy is important. Um, and you show that by going to vote. You hear? Okay. So, um, so tomorrow will be a long day for the town clerk and her people. I will just thank the. Uh, um, if some other states, um, being a poll worker may not be a glamorous pos position any longer. Never that it was, but they're the they. They there's a set of rules that they go by. They follow them. I know our town clerk is um, so 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 very careful 
Um, and she probably won't sleep a wink tonight worrying that everything is done correctly tomorrow. And I, and I, I would say that she is not the exception to the rule. She's most like most of the town clerks. They take their job. They take that portion of their, their duties so, so serious. So I would, again, go vote. Without uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion we adjourn. Seconded. We have a motion made and second to adjourn. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Jeff, we have 3-0. Declares out at 725.